What's going on everybody? Robert Perry here today. We're gonna to be roasting some coffee. We got the little Pedelli, two kilogram here. I got it somewhat uh heated up a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna crank it up a little more and let her get charged up. That's it. Kick her on real quick. We're about 312 degrees right now. We're going to roll it to about 400. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it down a little bit. We're going to back down to about 350. And that's when we're going to drop the beans. So go ahead and start loading up the hopper. This is three and a half pounds of beans. So that's three and a half pounds of beans we got in there. Once it gets up to 400, we're gonna um, let it cool down to about 350. And then that's when I'm gonna drop them on in there. We got our artisan hooked up. Uh, so basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna monitor these temps, roast tip and air temp. It's gonna feed it into a graph. Kinda helps me get a little bit of an idea of what we're doing, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's my wife sneaking up in the back. <clears throat> Alright, so what I do, a lot of people cut off the machine. I just open the door, I let it go down to about 350, shut the door, and then I'm going to go ahead and drop these. So right there, we're going to go down about 345, it's going to turn around, come on back up, and I'm going to go ahead and drop the heat at that point. At this point, I'm going to turn up the gas a little bit. Go up to about one. Now I didn't set timer on the machine. You can um, right here. You just press the time button. I usually just use Artisan because I'm already over there looking at it. So I'll keep up with time on that. Um, right now we're at a pretty pretty low uh, turning point, 167. Now you'll start to see the see the heat trickling on up. We're at a minute 20 right now. Probably at the 130 mark, I'd give it a little bit more gas. And at the two minute mark, I'm going to turn my air up um, a couple notches. I'm only going to about one one and a half on the gas. About a minute 45 right now. One thing I always forget, and it's just a rookie mistake, is once I get done dropping the beans, I forget to close this. What will happen is it'll shoot your air temp way up. So make sure this is this is closed because basically you're defeating the purpose of this and just letting a bunch of air get in. So that might have messed me up a tad. We'll see. I'm gonna kick my air up. 
couple notches. We're looking pretty good on our curve right now. I think we should be getting first to close to first crack around eight minutes. That's what we're kind of shooting for right now. Uh, we'll see, see where we're at in a little bit. Just hit four minutes, coming up on about 240 degrees. Air temp's a little high at 360. minutes 15 seconds in so I'm gonna kind of give it a little boost this machine here has a pretty good little little, little trier now I'll kind of see where you're at like I said we're starting to get to the good um definitely past yellow starting to get into more of the drying phase about seven minutes coming up on 300 we're actually a little uh, a little behind where I wanted to be, but it is what it is. At least we ain't burning them. acidity to it so I'm not going to be I'm not once it hits first crack I'm not going to be going that far past it I'm shooting for about a minute and a half development time maybe uh I might go a little bit below two so we'll see where at where we're at in a little bit we're at 10 minutes right now coming up on 360 I slowed the air down a tad um, I want to coast on in to first crack uh, should be coming up here pretty soon I hear first crack, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that on Artisan. First crack starting right around 1028 at 370. First crack was at 1028. What I'm probably going to do is go to about 12, maybe a little past 12. I'm going to see where my temp is. I really don't want my temp getting too far past uh, 4, uh, 4, 5, 4, 10. So I'll see where I'm at around that. Um, 
when you touch the air back just a tad, try to coast into it a little better. I'm at 12.05 right now. I'm at 4.07 on my temp. I'm going to go ahead and get the cooling tray ready. And I'm going to go ahead and drop. Point you can go ahead and put off your igniter, turn the gas off. Uh, I'm not going to be roasting anymore. If you were roasting more, keep it going, flop your next ones in there, and keep home kicking. These beans cool really quick. Um, I think we did pretty good on that. Had a bit longer roast than I wanted. Kind of slow getting into a uh, temp, but I think we're good. <laughs> All right, guys, that was it. That was the roast. I'm gonna let it go ahead and cool on down. I'm not going to be doing any more. Uh, as you can see, we got a good bit of coffee here. Uh, one roast took about 12 minutes. Uh, depending on how dark you go and your skill of roasting, I guess. Depends on how much you can do an hour. Um, I like this little smoke uh, stack they got in the back that feeds it all out straight to the back where it doesn't really get too smoky around here. Well, that's it. They got a little chafe collector here that I usually clean out afterwards. Uh, so basically anything falling between the drone gets caught right there. It's a good little setup. Close that door. Other than that, I mean, it's a good, good little, uh, good little machine. I like it. I definitely like it. I right now I don't have any too many complaints about it. Uh, haven't had it too long. Been roasting on it for about a month and a half now. So, yeah. Wanted to give a shout out to old Scotty Meads over at Social Grounds for helping me out and showing me how to use the old roaster. I'll. Uh, buddy you're the man you're the man's got it anyway so yeah that's it i mean that's pretty much how i roast coffee if you want some hit me up if you don't drink coffee then you're just you're missing out dude you're missing out you're missing out on some good things in life <laughs>